When you woke up this morning, did you start by asking yourself, what do I want to do today? Now, for most of us, that is not how we start our morning. And that's okay. You see, the problem is most of us start our day and we're immediately into obligation mode. And there's no real space for us to kind of invite in that question of what do I want to cultivate a sense of felt desire within us for something, anything. It doesn't really matter what it is. If we're in obligation mode, it's like desire doesn't even enter the equation. Now it's fine to believe that you have obligations to take care of things, but all I'm gonna invite you to do here in this video is to create a space in your life in which you start to explore that desire that's within you for anything. Obligation is fine, but if our life becomes completely full of obligation, you know, we wake up first thing and I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to go to work, I have to do a great presentation, I have to please the manager, I have to bring the kids to football practice, whatever it is, right? Have to, have to, have to obligation all the time. If there's no place where you can have a boundary and start to sit with that question of what it is you want and to cultivate the desire for something in your life, you're going to start to feel disconnected from yourself. You are important and sitting with that question is one of the healthiest things you can do for yourself, believe me. But I'm really just talking about cultivating the feeling of desire within yourself and how healthy that can be. To start to get excited about things that you genuinely want. Now, an issue you may be facing when you start to do this is you haven't asked yourself that question for so long that when you sit down to be with that question, nothing comes up, which is normal, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But if you sit there with that question long enough and frequently enough, habitually, you will start to get in touch with uh, desire for things and it's super important. We know people, for instance, who have depression, oftentimes um, the things that once made them feel joy in life no longer bring them that sense of joy. They're out of touch with any felt sense of desire. So one of the tools we can start to use is to really prioritize feeling desire again. Now it's not even necessarily important that every desire you get in touch with gets met, okay, because it won't. Some desires come up and they fade away. But what we don't want to do is to refuse or disallow ourselves from feeling the desire because of feelings of hopelessness or helplessness or frustration from the past, disappointment maybe we've had. Just to allow, now some of those desires will come up and some of those desires will be met. That's what we want. But the real fundamental thing is, am I starting to feel desire for things? And that involves a practice. And it's so easy to get into the practice of cutting yourself off from that question, that part of yourself that has genuine, authentic desire for things. Because if, as I said, the way I put it is always obligation mode. If you look at your day-to-day -day life, is it all obligation? Or is there a space where you can start to sit down, maybe do some journaling on this, and find out what it is I really, really want that's gonna make me feel excited and hold a space in your life for that. Okay, this is work you will do by yourself, personally. Try and find a place where you're by yourself with no distractions. It's gonna require a little bit of stillness and a little bit of bringing your awareness into your body where you'll feel that desire. It is absolutely possible to do it. It doesn't take long. It, it, it might take maybe a few days for you to start to get it back in touch with that, to give yourself permission to start feeling like that again. But that is a really, really core exercise for you to start practicing, especially if you've noticed that you've been feeling disconnected of late. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I hope that was helpful and um, thanks for watching. Talk again soon.